<sighs> Hello everybody. So today, today there was almost no vlog. Uh, it's morning, it's like, well, it's almost noon. It's 11.45 or something, but um, I've been up for a while. I've had a very, very frustrating morning. I really, really want to fucking go off. I really want to vent a fucking, oh, I just want to just, I just want to fucking ether motherfuckers, but I can't. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to fucking talk about some of the shit that I want to talk about yet because it's just not, it's just not okay. Until everything actually works itself out, I really can't say anything, but do understand that I, my mood today may not be the best because I am definitely super frustrated. Definitely. Um, for multiple reasons. One of the reasons that I can talk about is, uh, as I've mentioned, I placed an order for the energy boost, the first shoe that ever had boost on it. I ordered that from Stadium Goods. Uh, that was on the 14th, and then I got no word, no anything, no nothing from them, so I decided to call this morning. They t <laughs> they just tell me, they call me back 15 minutes later and tell me like, oh yeah, there was a problem, there was a problem with the uh, warehouse, um, we're just gonna refund you your money. Which is fine, like whatever shit happens, like you know, we have to refund my money, but like I had to call to make it happen. You know, it's like it's so random. It's so weird to me that you that that they were just gonna hold my money until I called and got it taken care of. There was no automated follow through, no nothing. So that that was a little frustrating. It's not really a big deal. It's pr probably wouldn't have been as frustrating had I not already had a hundred other things piss me off this morning, but it is what it is. So Last night, I also lost my ring, uh, and what's crazy about it is I lost the ring, and then because I have security cameras in the apartment, I went and checked the security cameras to zoom in on my hands to see where the fuck the ring could possibly be. Couldn't find it anywhere. I tore this house apart. Like, this couch got just destroyed. Like, it's the bottom is, like, all ripped out now because I, like, was under the... You could not convince me that it wasn't in the couch. So I like, ripped the lining out of the bottom of the couch and threw the fucking thing across the room. It's probably security camera footage of that. Just went in trying to find this fucking ring. Convinced myself it fell off the balcony, even though I didn't go out to the balcony. Couldn't find it at all, it was just gone. You know, just straight up gone. And the footage, it was on my finger at 6.10 p.m. Then it flips to 6.13 and it's not on my finger. I didn't get up from the couch, didn't do anything in the footage, I just sat there. So I don't understand how it happened. And then, at like 1 a.m. last night, walk into my room, I get undressed, I take off my pants and my shirt, and then literally my pants and shirt are on the ground, and I hear a thud. I hear like that noise, and I'm like, where the fuck? And then I like I reach around on the ground, and I find my ring, and I have no eye fucking idea how the fuck or where the fuck it was. Like it was, it couldn't have been in my. I just don't understand. You know what I mean? So I'm having a frustrating 24 hours right now. But I did decide, and I wasn't even gonna vlog. You know, I was like, I'm not vlogging. I need a day off, mental health day or whatever you want to call it but then i realized it's a vlog and a lot of people watch this vlog and think that everything that happens to me is just wonderful and all my days are so cool everything is just great and it's not there's a lot of fucking frustration in my life and that's just the way it is and i felt like i was just going to share it today so we'll see how my mood improves over the day i really don't have many plans um I have some work that I need to do, but I'm not doing it because I'm just pissed. So I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to go to the shop and hang out with my homies, and they're probably going to cheer me up, and I'm going to smoke some weed, and I'm going to fucking just do stuff that I want to do today, and it's going to be it. I really don't give a shit. If I fucking clap back at you today on Twitter, it's probably because I'm already in a bad mood. I'm not in the fucking mood for it. So that's where we're at. That's where I'm at anyway. Sorry to not be my positive self, but um, sometimes you just got to tell the world to go fuck itself. All right, let's get this fucking day started. Where are you going? Tad Greens. Mm. No, the reason how I knew that is because that's what you just said. So oh, is it? Are you coming back here? Yeah. You want to bring me a salad? Maybe. Oh, okay. Well, let me know when you decide if it's a yes or a no. Really, really. Are you upset? Mm, not in the best mood today. Yeah, I figured. All right, it's got weed in it. I know, but it makes you feel the same as a cigarette. I'll do one tiny. Little I don't bit. want you to be all fucked up. I won't be all fucked up. Do like a tiny. The cigarette's gonna yell at me. That's too big. You're fucked. <laughs> Derek's fucked. I'll check in with you in a little bit. <laughs> the rest, but then when just bring in your other form or whatever, uh -huh. and I photocopy it, and then I fill all this out anyways. So you, this is employer. So all you have to do is your basic info up here and then sign it. 
and then citizen of the United States. That's all you have to do. This one, I forgot about this one. So that's good, you're a citizen. Signature, oh, and then put your W9. after us, but you want to shoot me? Do all that shit. I'm... Oh, fuck, that's not right. I did it there, too. You need new ones? Yep. <laughs> Fuck! Abby went and got me a salad. Shout out to that. Oh, let's go ahead and see what this is. I have a feeling this is a joke from here on Twitter. That looks good too. I got Slaying demon in the color game. I got 1%. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice. Cool. Alright, let's get back to this joke shit. It's gotta be a joke. Twitter who thinks they're funny, who tries to pretend like they still love Nike and Jordan and phone posits, but all they really buy is Boost. Whether they wear it or not, I don't care. If all you're buying is Boost, then you're a fan. Um, let's see. And dog collar and <laughs> it's Shof nose. Pretty clever way to plug your hashtag. So if you're into, uh, I guess. Shitty Nikes and Jordans and phone posits. He's your guy. Uh, cool. <laughs> Ridiculous. What's up, Ted? What up, bro? Oh, that's just some candies. Oh, nice. hey. well, What's her name? Page. Page. <laughs> first, she gets froze, yeah. Yeah, the first time I ever saw that camera, I was like, what the fuck, and I was always looking at it, but now Yeah, it used to be a hater. It used to, like, if I left it running and I left the room, Abby would just, like, turn I, it off. I would go and, like, I would, like... Made me know how shady you are. That's how I learned that you're shady, shady as fuck, yeah. Oh, because I was doing camera. shady shit. Yeah, because yeah. you got to turn the camera off. I couldn't show the kids what we were doing. Nice. Nice. You like that? Nice. Good job. This kid bitch trash. I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm just joking. I don't really think it's trash. Hey, I got a, I got a special one coming for you. A special one? Special. All right. What are you talking about? Let me see him. Let me see him. They're like two years old, dude. You said, he just said two months. Yeah, two months. They're off brand. They're not the actual Let's brand. Let's see it. Not boosted, dog. You wear these? It's a lemon. For you get a lemon. For a dollar a day. For a dollar a day. <laughs> 60 days. Look at this fucking shirt. Dude, oh. Don't come at me like that. It's I, an off brand. You came at yourself. I didn't do it. I was trying to just show you something different. <laughs> yeah, it's different. I shouldn't be called milk. I've never even done it. I literally yeah, asked you, internet how much milk. milk do you think somebody, not me, could chug in an hour? Hashtag milk And milk. now I'm fucking milk chug, and I'm going to get motherfuckers showing up like, okay, let's go. Me and you, motherfucker. <laughs> Gallon per gallon. <laughs> oh, milk jug. Shit's full of milk, dude. That's the milk jug. That's the milk jug <laughs> on the milk jug. <laughs> We've been playing happy slap ass with that. Oh, you probably know that game. It's good. It's a game you play often. Mm -hmm. Be happy. It looks very aggressive. Oh, it is. That's the best part. Got to heal I can't. If you need money before you get it, you screw it. 2.0? 1.0. We're 1.0 off. Alright, I almost on. put those on, but they're too bright with my black get up. I'm wearing an all black get up. I know, but they're like, you calling me too bright? You are too bright. I am too bright. Too bright for my Too bright for the future. That's right, they don't even know. They future. don't even know! Future God. They're all black and then solars, though. We wore, both wore breads yesterday. So if tomorrow, if we do it, then it's a pattern. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell right you. Right now, it's just a coincidence. Because mm. I'm dollars. Big not baller. Dollars. Big baller brand. My man's a big baller. <laughs> what am I thinking about today? People did not want you to corner your hair. That's all. Mm -hmm. Um, I got a lot of messages saying they did want me to corner oh, did my you? hair. Yeah. Are you gonna corner your beard? No, I cornered my hair once in New York. I heard that yeah. actually. I think Rick told me and that. And it fucking hurt my head so bad that really? I just like took it out immediately. I was like, dude, I'm like after yeah. an hour I had the worst headache ever. I'm dying my hair on. What color? Silver? No, black. Black. <laughs>
not really. Do you expect anything else from me? Well, it's not black right black now. Black like so. your heart. Yeah, it's red right now. Abby Blackheart. Your soul. That would be Abby's MySpace name if she was alive for MySpace. MySpace. I got kicked off of MySpace when I was younger. Damn. Well, I mean, I like pickled, like onions and pickled carrots and things like that, but pickled. <coughs> what about Peter Piper Pickle? Peter Piper Pickle. 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 Pickles, pickle. 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 Peck. Pickle. 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 Yeah. That's so cute. He's like having Omar text him. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm going to the doctor to make sure I don't get Oh, we can go play doctor for sure. <laughs> I'm in a much better mood than I was when I got here, though. I know, I so I'm glad that I came to the shop. Yeah, me too. Yeah. What up, Brian? Nobody's here. Print shop said they must be on lunch, getting ready for that drop. Been working. All right, let's go home. Before I go home, I'm gonna go get a smoothie from this place, Parsley, because they're fire. Some guacamole too. Woo. Smoothie so fire. I'm in a much better mood than I was a few hours ago. Going to the tattoo shop was probably the best decision that I made today. Uh, getting out of my own head and sitting here and being frustrated would have done me no good, even though that's exactly what I wanted to do. You know, just like I'm sure all of you guys, you know, you apply yourself to something, you work really hard, and then when you get these roadblocks or these obstacles <clears throat> that don't even really need to be there or are just like ridiculous or someone not understanding you or whatever the case is You know, it's really easy to just go down this like angry attitude ladder or whatever the fuck You know, like I just like I mean I had a chip on my shoulder all morning I just like was ready to fucking just be pissed off all day and Thankfully Sager and Rick and people at the shop talk to me and you know I get to like actually express myself and hear my own thoughts out loud and realize that I do have the answers to get around these obstacles. So, and I still can't really talk about everything that's going on. You guys will see, like, there's just a lot going on. You're like, Ern's moving here, um, t-shirt shop changes, like, tattoo shop changes, everything's expanding, everything grew so quickly, and then you'll just have to, like, wait and see. Like, there's just a lot of stuff going on, and I get really frustrated because I'm trying to do this as much as can and still juggle my, like, regular life. So, just got a little upset this morning. I'm glad that I went and talked to my friends. I'm glad that I got out of that negative headspace. And I do think that very much like success comes from being able to overcome the obstacles. Uh, there's always going to be shit that gets in the way. There's never going to be a day like you're going to have days where things are easy and good. But you know, especially like growing a brand or trying to do this business or trying to like grow a YouTube channel and vlog. And, um, you know, just like keep everything moving. Because let's face it, the shit's not cheap and the shit's not easy or everyone would do it and you know it's just you have to learn how to overcome things like that's just that's what life is like you are never going to be able to just relax and not overcome obstacles but those obstacles are also needed so that you can level up and like it's all about leveling up that's just where we're at so glad i got out of here I'm glad that i didn't sit around here and just sulk all day um and shout out to having some real friends that understand me pretty much today was just um chilling and not really doing much just went to the shop and hung out like i said dealt with my own mental breakdown but um yeah i'm doing good now so now that i feel good we can take a look at some shoes this box is empty i tore this house apart last night looking for that ring there's no telling even the shoe room i like i'd convinced myself for a few minutes that i dropped it in the shoe room so i started tearing down the little wall of shoes looking for my ring dude I'm, I'm a psychopath sometimes. All right, I'll be right back. Let's get these shoes. Oh wait, they're right here. Booyah. Okay, 
Um, let's see if I can quickly find the other Trace Olive colorways. There's one. There's another one now, right? Jesus, I can't believe I actually found these in under a few minutes. Let's take a look at the new shoe before we get into the other versions. Give you a low down on the throw down. All right, so this is the new shoe that we got yesterday. This would be, I believe they're calling it the Trace Olive. Kind of feel like there's been like three or four shoes called the Trace Olive, but I, you know, it's whatever. Um, Adidas sometimes does funny shit. But so, all right. 3.0 Ultra Boost, which we have covered pretty thoroughly. Um, actually, I haven't put these on yet, so let me at least slide one on to see what it feels like because sometimes these motherfuckers are tight. Oh, all right, let's see. No, that is regular Ultra Boost feeling to me. All right, we're fire though. 3.0 Ultra Boost, regular Ultra Boost fit, so still going size 13. I like it to be a little more relaxed. I don't want it to hug my foot like a ninja boot. Uh, some people do. That's why they size down on probably everything PK, but for me, true to size is comfortable. I like it. It's like the ADO Ultra Boost. Some people complain about how baggy and loose it is. I think that shit's so comfortable, but I'm also not running down the street in those pairs either. I'm not running down the street in many pairs. So you have an olive green base in the upper kind of gives off like a brown vibe when you have it in the light um, sometimes green and browns can trick your eyes it's the way it is but it definitely looks a little brownish uh, the big difference you're going to see on this pair is the leather cage which i've discussed even this week how much i like the leather cages it really just brings the shoe to a whole nother level for me not that i don't like the plastic cages but it's kind of like it's kind of like the Fitbit and the Apple Watch. Like, I don't mind the plastic cages till I see the leather ones, but or even just any kind of different material cage. It's just something nicer, you know. Something nicer makes it worth the extra twenty bucks. A lot of people don't like paying the extra twenty. I don't even think this one was an extra twenty dollars, so it doesn't make sense. But regardless, fire shoe. I really like this cage. The heel cup on this one is the what we're just gonna call the three D printed cage, even though it hasn't been advertised by Adidas. Uh, we'll call it that just for the sake of argument because it is different. Uh, regular white boost, black continental sole, black torsion plates. I guess those are kind of gray, but. And then olive green laces that match as well, match the upper in the cage pretty perfectly. A little darker than the upper because our upper is olive green with actually cream and black digitally peppered in that bitch. And then the laces are just green and black, there's no cream in it. But the cream really kind of makes this upper, kind of when you look down, looks just like sand, sand breezing across the night sky. Well, if the sky was green. But it definitely has a different look to it. I really do like this shoe. I like the leather hits, I like everything like that. Um, there's only so much you can really do in Ultra Boost. A lot of people complain that they're all the same. Um, I guess to an extent that could be true, but for me, they're doing just fine right now. Let's see what y'all called. This was Trace Olive. Yeah, so this one is called Trace Olive by Adidas. So that's what that one looks like. Now let's pull out other pair. This pair, Night Cargo. So that's this compared to Night Cargo, which when you see these next to each other, they are completely different. This, you can see how I'm saying brown. This is green as fuck. So that's the difference there. And this one, which is an LTD and is $200, which does not have the uh, leather cage on it, this is the military green. So these three together, when these three dropped like on the internet, and I did have some similarities, like the military has cream in it, the, uh, you know, they're green, <laughs> but or shades of green. These three next to each other, you cannot tell me that this one's not completely different. Uh, there's people on the internet, you know, who never buy any shoes that always have comments about shoes. You know, like most Yeezy experts don't actually own any Yeezys, but it's the same thing with this shit. Like, people don't buy them. People don't go to the movies and review it. They review it off other people's opinion. Uh, so if you're gonna do that, at least listen to an informed opinion who has the pairs in their actual real life hand. You can see the difference, huge difference in color. Definitely a completely different fit. This would go with different things all together and also, of course, has the leather cage. You know, the big difference in those is the colors and the cages. You got perforated, you got regular, 
and you got 3D. So these are pretty similar in color though. That is very, pretty similar. But even that's darker and that's lighter. So everything's got its little pizzazz to it. You know what I'm saying? But that's those. And this is these. forgot there's a drop tomorrow Godzilla restock Colorado pop-up shirts some hoodie restocks because a lot of people in other countries where it's still cold have requested and oh the out of control shirt in three limited colorways actually four one's friends and family extremely limited if you get one of those you're really fast and lucky and that's it it's tomorrow at 10 a.m. mountain time 12 noon Eastern Standard and 9 a.m. in the California or Pacific Standard Time. So there you are, there you have it. We'll see you tomorrow.